Hello and welcome to Kenyan News. Kenyan's reactions to President Salva Kiir's unfortunate act of allegedly wetting his pants at a national event have been mixed. Kenyans, led by Azimio leader Robert Alai, have taken to social media to criticize South Sudanese President Salva Kiir. On Twitter, the Kilaleswa MCA said, It is a shame for some African leaders to overstay in power until they are too old, citing President Salva Kiir's urination. Truly should this continue for eternity? Do you need to hold power forever? And he won't step down from power because of his shame. It's a shame. Robert Eli shared the viral video while tweeting. When the unfortunate incident occurred, President Salva Kiir was in charge of a national event. When the president stood alert with his right hand across his chest, the South Sudanese military was leading the audience in reciting the national anthem. William Ruto has experienced ups and downs since taking over as the country's leader. Certain individuals have been complimenting and commending him as the best president the nation has at any point had, while certain individuals have been savaging, annoying and deriding him as the most terrible president the nation at any point chose. That being the case, President William Ruto was once more the target of a vicious trolling attack by Robert Eli today. Every now and then, the newly elected MCA has been attacking Ruto, and today was no exception as he delivered his latest bombshell. Dad, Robert Eli stated via his official Twitter account that Ruto should adopt a presidential tone. Robert Eli says that because the commander-in-chief doesn't speak like a president, all of his speeches sound like jokes. That follows Ruto's lengthy speech at the Mashaja Day celebrations at Uhura Gardens a day earlier. President William Ruto led Kenyans in celebrating Jamhuri Day at Nyeo Stadium on Monday. However, one thing that stood out was how few Kenyans attended, as most of the terraces at the stadium remained empty. Abdou Badida, a former presidential candidate, made fun of President Ruto in this way in a statement he posted on social media. Dita asserted that the former president, Yuhiro Kenyatta, never used mobilization funds to ensure that his events were filled to capacity, but that he always managed to address large crowds on holidays. He criticized President Ruto for promising Kenyans they would attend the celebrations, despite the low attendance. Dita stated, he is talking to himself. It's important to remember that Kenyans didn't show up to the first holiday President Ruto presided over days after winning the presidency, and the same thing almost happened on Jamhuri Day. What could possibly have gone wrong with Ruto? Throughout the campaigns, Ruto demonstrated his reputation as a crowd pleaser. Where did the hordes of Ruto fans go? Hope you enjoy the video.